Hey guys, just want to take a second to thank our sponsor, Carnivore Bar. I don't promote many products because honestly, all you need to be healthy is just to eat meat and that's what you should do. But if uh, you're hiking or road tripping or stuck at work and you want something nutritious that is just meat, fat, and possibly salt if you want it, the Carnivore Bar is a great option. I like this product not only because it is pure meat, but also because I really want the carnivore market to thrive as well. The more we support meat-only products, the more people will make meat-only products, and this will bring us into the mainstream. So if this sounds like something you'd like to check out, then take a look and use my discount code HTC to get 10% off, which also applies to subscriptions, giving you 25% off total. All right. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the How To Carnivore podcast. We're joined again by Dr. Anthony Chafee, the plant-free MD. Anthony, welcome. Hey, thanks, Simon. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, and we've also got Sean Seiko Sakinovsky here, who is a South African endurance cyclist uh, who does not consume carbohydrates on extremely long rides in hot South African heat of up to nine hours, I believe. So, uh, Sean, welcome. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to share my story. Our pleasure. Um, now, what what got you into uh, the keto diet, particularly considering most cyclists or the cyclists that I know are total carb addicts? What 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 got you into this way of eating and living? Well. Um, Interestingly enough, I in 2006, I uh, founded a, a supplement company, which um, is still around today. Um, and they, uh, they pri primarily um, promote the, the usage of carbohydrate. Um, over my involvement with the company, uh, I think I had a natural predisposition to veer away the consumption of carbohydrate back in 2011 well 2009 I, I established that I was wheat intolerant and gluten intolerant um, I battled all my life um, with with going to the toilet um, something that uh, people don't often talk about but uh, for me uh, you know being a regular and having a Pain, pain-free bowel movements was something that only uh, sort of came. Uh, I only came to realize was possible through the elimination of of actually carbohydrate in, in general. Um, but the 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 journey of um, of of eliminating carbs out of my diet was was basically uh, came to a head when my father passed away from a terrible, terrible bout of esophageal cancer, which um, literally wasted, wasted a, a man who was, he was a, he was a, a high carb eater. He promoted a healthier lifestyle, but just, he was a traditional, I mean, I come from a traditional Jewish background. So there was, the, the the carbohydrates your 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 bread your challah your and now it's it's Pesach there's Passover they they eat matzah they eat uh, they eat um um uh, this this laden flour um food um he he uh, unfortunately came to this terrible this terrible cancer and um my both sides of my family, my mother and uh, and my and my father's side, they all suffered from cancer, and they all suffered from uh, uh, um, cardio, in fact, cardiovascular disease. And I just had a light bulb moment. I said, "It's, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. It, it, it can't be this way." And and I just realized it's in the food. You keep on doing the same thing over and over again, and, and expecting a different result is 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 absolutely absurd. It's absolutely absurd, and uh, and that's that was the journey. It was two thousand and thirteen, um, and I just I eliminated uh, um, you know all forms of of, uh, of carbs. There was carb carbs in the in the nuts I was eating, uh, but not not in the not in the sense of starches, not in the sense of grains, not in the sense of of, of fruits, and um, 
and my health started to to improve and interestingly enough i was born deaf um i was born with uh, with a low a low immune system which uh, which was um which caused my middle ear my ear ossicles not to vibrate and i had 11 ear operations and uh, full grommet replacements and slowly but surely i got my hearing back but i also grew um, in the first two years of my life and 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 during my mother's pregnancy um my parents were not affluent and couldn't afford meat so the first two years of my um being in my mother's womb and uh, and and uh, I, I, sorry so i'd say two years and, and nine months so um there was no meat and I, I never had that nutrients of, of meat um so that I, I honestly believe that that was one of the biggest causes of of, of my of my um low immune system and I and I lived off gamma globulin injections from from the doctor um through my teens you know to 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 try and strengthen my immune system um and uh, when i when i eventually migrated out of my uh, my family's house um i learned to i learned to to sort of eat for myself and my my beginning of in, my interest in nutrition was i became a bodybuilder at uh, uh, 20 20 years ago I, well, I did a year of bodybuilding and i and i couldn't grow i couldn't I couldn't get big, and uh, eventually it was because I was under I was under um, feeding myself. I, w- I wasn't taking any calories, and my obsession with nutrition and I, and our stress obsession began when the results came from, wow, is this what food can do to you? And um, so I've I've always had this interest in in, in human performance and, uh, and and food and 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 I think I think. The lesson that can come from this is is um, self discovery. Um, I think nutrition, once again, nutritional science. And sorry if I'm waffling too much. You need to ask questions, otherwise I'm just going to get disjointed. No, no, but no, uh, no. Um, but I, I think from the the example that I can give to 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 everyone is you don't need you you. You, you don't need actually anyone you don't need anyone to inspire you i think my inspiration came from myself um my my the the education in which i received was self taught um and also not being afraid to really just figure it out for myself i think people are so scared of i mean if you look at the last <laughs> <laughs> the last three years, you can see how absolutely programmed people are. It's <laughs> it's 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 mind boggling. It's in fact, it's yeah. It's 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 almost. Uh, I mean, I, I would say there were days when it it affected me so much, um, and it's not the fact that I was locked up. I love being locked up. Um, I can I can I can go for days in my in my my apartment um watching youtube documentaries learning for myself um i i can do push up sit ups i can i i you know i don't need i don't need people to 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 ful- fulfill me and uh, when i when i when i saw what 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 happened to people it 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 depressed me it it it, it really affected me it um I just don't understand how people can be like that. Um, but in hindsight, if you look at what's happened since 1977, um, it's nothing really changed. It was just an, it was just a a product or, or a result of what 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 has happened since this um, the slow degradation of of of, of nutrition in, in society. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, there's obviously been a lot of programming over the decades as well, and and we don't always see it. You know, obviously, when you're in, when you're in it, you can't you can't really tell. And there's a lot of people that that uh, you know, like your father and your parents, they're like, well, this is how you remain healthy. You eat low fat. You eat a bunch of healthy carbs and vegetables and things like that. And and um, you know, it's just a matter of 
of recognizing that and seeing the evidence for yourself and then just relaying that evidence. And it's great that you've been able to do that. And, and, and hopefully other people will learn from your example. Um, how, how long have you been in on this train of doing, doing the low carb? What, well, first of all, what exactly is your diet now and how long have you been doing? Well, well, I, I like to do a lot of self-experimentation. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've done some radical thing, <laughs> you know, if I look at like was, I've, I've been involved in the supplement industry for even in, in my bodybuilding days. So yeah, I, I just get, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I shouldn't be allowed, I shouldn't be around, I shouldn't be allowed to be in a laboratory where they have like maybe bad things or perceived bad chemicals. I should be really slot stay people keep me away from that because I just I'm just so fascinated by by um the influence of 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 let's say nutrition the supplements so um my diet preferably is full carnival um now with that being said I I love macadamia nut butter butter. I really, really do. Um, but it affects my bowel movement. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh um I I used to really I mean I love English cucumber. I absolutely love English cucumber. In mm -hmm. fact, um because my my sweet tooth is so sensitive, English cucumber is if I think to my youth, uh, English cucumber is as sweet as watermelon. Um, wow. when, 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 when i when i um, eat it um and uh i stopped eating that because i it makes me feel completely um heavy it makes me feel gaseous like you cannot believe um and i just i've just come i mean speaking you, know, you, you must understand that as an individual one of almost eight billion people I grew up constipated. I grew up constipated. So just to tell you a story, when I went to Israel as a as a youngster, my father, who was a also a pharmacist, gave me some emodium, which is a which is prevents diarrhea. And I said, Dad, what's this? So I said, it's if you get if you get diarrhea. So I said, Dad, if I get diarrhea, it's a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing. Yeah. 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 And uh, um, so for me, um, uh, being regular or i should rather say being pain-free and having and being without having this permanent like wind breaking wind all the time is a sign mm -hmm. of being healthy for me and mm -hmm. when if i if i if i incorporate any for, form of plant food and this is just me and, and this is once again why i say i don't think science and nutrition should be in the same sentence because there is none um because we science puts and 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 i don't think medicine and science should be in the same sentence either because there is none and um there might be a small but unfortunately there's a there's a balance there's a, a lot of non-science here and there's a lot of science there but it's it, it, it there, there is none you know so, um and that's just my opinion and my experience. And, uh, um, and I think maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be around for another 20, 30 years. And, uh, um, and, uh, but that's, that's the journey that I'm on. However, just getting back to, to what I was saying, um, you, you, the, the plants, fruits, that they're, they're, I don't think, just don't think sorry it's just i i have so many uh, i have so many thoughts when when that come into my to my my mind and to sort of narrow it down into like a choke to get the the, the right pattern that i want um i just don't we we are such a primitive unevolved species the humans we are so programmed um and that's the problem so you, we don't ask questions. We take everything that the, uh, the priest, the rabbi, the imam says, the doctor says. So you go to a doctor and he says to you, 
So look, you know, he says, you, know, you must have five, 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 five cups of fruit and vegetables a day. And all you do is this. And he says, to, you must take, you know, you, you go, you, sorry, you, you first, you first go to the doctor. I'm not feeling well. What's wrong? Sore throat. Um, and I feel a little, you know, he, if you're lucky, he'll, he'll tell you how you must eat and that he will prescribe the, the typical fruits and vegetables in a, in a cup. How big is your cup? Is it an espresso cup? Is it a mug? Is it a, is it a beer mug? What, what, what is it? What is that, that, that cup? You know, firstly, um, and then, and, and then you, and you must take this, uh, whatever it is, and you just go, yes, okay. Um, so that, that, that in itself is just be programmed. There is somebody who was smarter than us that came along and said, right, this species is, you know, we can just tell them what to do and they'll do it. Hmm. it they'll lap it up. They will lap it up. So getting back to, 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 to me, I, I, if it works for me, I will do it. If it doesn't work for me, I won't. I'm just. I'm not going to do it. Um, I won't push my agenda on you, and I. I just don't. Don't do it to me. Um, I. I. I you must. You, you must be free. Um, I believe. In, I believe. I believe completely in freedom, um, and I, I believe in the right to to, to choose. Um, and I don't believe in imposing my, my I have been po polarizing polarizing in the past. I, I have been very um, uh, uh, abrupt, uh, abrasive with regards to my views and my opinions, but I've learned to to temper it. Um, I, I, I would like and why I do what I do, which I'm sure we'll come to later, is because I want to I want people to ask questions. That's all I want. I, I want people to ask questions. I don't want people to lap it up. I want people to ask questions. Why does this? Why can this this bloke do what he does? With and you know, mm -hmm. how can he do it? So let's. It's uh, not even... Sean, let's Sorry. let's get into it. T tell us about okay. what you do. Do tell us about this. These extreme feats of endurance. Okay, so. Okay, I think, I think just to to understand it, I never ever set out to do what I I did. Um, I work. I I I've been involved in many businesses and I've been isolated a um, a lot because a lot of my, my the stuff I did was surround myself around social media, and I I lived in a bubble. Um, I kind of still live in a bubble, but I, I live in a more sort of a. Uh, I've I've started to prick the bubble in certain areas and it pops and, and, I, and I see things and and, and I, start, I start to ask questions. Um, and so I, I I have never, ever been an endurance person. I've always been a, a sort of a fast twitch orientated muscle person. I was a ballet dancer. I've done combat sports. Um, I... Um, when I when I started cycling, I lit, I just did time trials really, and 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 my maximum distance was forty kilometers, and um, I used to make a joke at forty one kilometers, my wheels fall off, uh, <laughs> you know, for, for 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 me to to venture to, for me to do a hundred kilometer ride was like maybe once a year I might go and do a hundred kilometer ride, and um, but in two thousand and eighteen. Um, I, I went to I went to France and I, and I did a I did a Grand Fondo which was a, 178 kilometers of many many mountain passes and and I just kind of enjoyed it but what I did notice is that the the food that I ingested was I, I worked it out I, I I did eat and I wasn't I wasn't I didn't ever comprehend the fact that you could do this without refueling but I, I had six. 691 calories on 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 the ride and um the one the the top, the one of the, the reasons why I ate was because amongst one of the the stops and they were giving out all these sports gels and all these uh, there was fruit and all the there was bread and everything one of the cuz it was a big event um there was a, a stand that was giving salami 
uh, uh, salami pieces. Nice. And I just thought, how, how, um, it was like completely like bizarre. So I went and I, you know, I ate that just for the, you know, for the joy of eating something which was just completely out of, out of, uh, out of place in amongst all of this sugar fest. And, uh, but what dawned on me was the, 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 the Indonesian, I was riding with a Paralympian, but he was, he needed Coke. He bonked all the time. Um, and, and, uh, he, his, he, he just, he, he was completely the energy not to take away from his physical abilities. And also he had, he did have a, a disability, but, um, he, he, he just couldn't, I was astonished that I was fine. I was riding the same, the same exactly with him side by side. And here was a, a, a person that just completely, um, bonked. But what I did notice is that I really enjoyed spending an entire day um, on the bike in the, in, in the saddle. Um, kept, I came back to Cape Town and then I just started. I just started doing more and more rides that that started going into three hours, started going into four hours, and um, so what I started to do was I started to ride in in circles. It sounds really bizarre, but that that's what I did. I found a four kilometer loop. And I just started riding around then. I started riding 100 kilometers every single day. Hmm. Wow. And I never, ever, never ever felt like I needed food or energy. Mm -hmm. And I, one of the reasons for also using that one loop um, was because it was, it was close to home. So should I get hypoglycemic, I was, I was, I was, uh, I think it was about six or seven kilometers away from home. And, I could easily just come back and uh, and uh, um, you know sort myself out, um, but I re I thought to myself well, how how far can this actually go? You know, so um, in two thousand and nineteen, um, the Jordanian the Jordanian Tourism Board invited me to go to Jordan to do a race. Um, they were they, they were they were helping pr the promotion of a race that ran from the Dead Sea to the the Red Sea, and um, and I took my brother in law along with me. And now I I hadn't I hadn't competed in any events, oh sure, ten ten years, and uh, I, I I honestly I I, I never I don't ride with anyone. I, I really do not ride with anyone. I I don't have anyone really to measure my um my ability with really anymore i kind of can look at somebody else's data i know i know about power um i know about average speeds and so on and so forth so i just i just said to my brother-in-law who second seconded me in the race which was 198 kilometers i said look my goal for this ride is to not eat i want to i want to finish 198 kilometers um and I think by that stage, it was, I think 198 was one of the longest rides I'd ever done. And uh, I I just went, I, I was just so, I think the energy in the beginning of the race just got me so excited. And and I, and I broke away for about 40 kilometers right from the, the word go. And I remember my power output was, I think, around about 300 and 19 watts which is not pro standard but it was it was well above my it, it was not well above but it was above slightly above my ftp and uh and i did that for i think almost um almost 90 minutes and um and i felt fine afterwards because eventually the the group the lead group caught me and i, I remained with them and then the only problem I had was I was going to finish with a group of ambassadors behind me, but by that stage, uh, from the first from the first time check, they were fifteen minutes back, and by the second time check, they they were only uh, um, they were over uh, an hour and a half back. <laughs> so, <laughs> and by also, I thought they were fifteen minutes back. So I sent my vehicle to go and just get a time check, and I only had a half. <laughs> A half a bottle of water left 
and I'm riding through the bloody Jordanian desert. <laughs> and and after an hour later, they rock up and I was, I just decided, well, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to die of dehydration yet, so I'm just going to keep going, you know. So um, I, 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 I finished a, a credible fifth overall on, on, on the day. But what was wow. surprising, what to my to the, my absolute, I was absolutely elated. I was not hungry at the end of the ride. Mm. I burnt four thousand three hundred four thousand five hundred calories, and the only time I ate was a handful of keto nuts, um, which was just basically uh, um, macadamia nuts, and uh, I think there was uh, pecan nuts in there. Um, at the hotel two hours after I'd finished, I'd already packed my bike away and I was just completely bewildered by the fact I'd ridden so hard, such a long distance and I was fine. I was not hungry. Yeah. So that was, that was the first kind of, this is incredible. So now I'm thinking to myself, how far can this actually go? <laughs> so, so I came back. I came back to South Africa, and I just it was just I, I felt like I had a new toy, and I just started riding, 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 and uh, and of course um, the uh, <laughs> the social experiment it <laughs> hit hit the world, and uh, we were locked down for I think, I think in South Africa we were locked down for like three months four months and uh i didn't have a an indoor trainer at that stage so um <laughs> three days later uh, a, an acquaintance came and, and gave me a, a as a gift a set of rollers which are are, are a device which you use on, on in track cycling to warm up so you put the bike on these rollers and your bike creates centrifugal force and you and you balance and you ride and it's generally they, people generally use rollers for for um for warming up 45 minutes uh before before an event and um so i i was locked up no one really you could just go and buy groceries and you can't ride you weren't allowed to ride on the road um so i just started riding on these rollers and first it was 45 minutes you know mm -hmm. then it was an hour then it was two hours and then I was riding three hours because you know you've got to you've got to balance you've got to concentrate um, because it's you can't you can't lose your focus because you just slide off. Um, you, you really have to focus. You it's it's not something where you can stand really stand on and relax. You've got to keep pedaling otherwise you'll fall over. So um, I just started in three hours. Then I built it up to four. Then I started in six hours, and then. Uh, uh, a friend of mine um, wanted to do a promotion to give give back to people who've helped out in the in the uh, issue that we were facing, and I decided to see how far I could go for nine hours. And there was the goal was to ride for nine hours, which I I did. Uh, I, the the reason why I say I, I the, the the event afforded me the opportunity to have witnesses to to see that I'm not eating, and. Mm. I'd already done a nine-hour ride in my my flat. Um, I, in in that period of time that I, I had the roller uh, rollers, I rode four thousand kilometers on on rollers. Yeah, and the wow. reason why I could wow. uh, the reason why I I, I, I could um, I could equate that was because the power meter I was generating the power. So the power meter was uh, was uh, was giving the information to. The indoor platform, which would work that out according to your weight, and you travel on this indoor pro program called Zwift, and 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 uh, and I rode four thousand kilometers on on a, on a set of rollers over that period of time. So I rode 300 and, uh, 370 odd kilometers for this this event um, on on the rollers, and uh, I, the the coffee machine was broken. I remember the coffee machine was broken. In, in, I went to an office block. And I rode in, in somebody's offices to do, so I had witnesses, you know, to see that I wasn't eating. Um, because anyone can really go out and say, yeah, oh, I don't eat. I, I can also do that. I, I ride 400 kilometers and I don't eat. You just have to say that. I mean, how do you prove that? Um, so you need witnesses, of course. You know, you need 
um, and to it, even in the the, uh, the 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 race I did in, in Jordan, the the commissaires, the referees said, "Yeah, this, this guy didn't like." He, you know, he, he there was just no. We didn't see him eat. I mean, because when the when the when the group comes, they pour their vehicles, and you can see them giving the gels and giving the sugar water, and I'm just riding along, w w watching all of this go down. You know, and they aren't riding faster than me. You know, they aren't they aren't uh, they aren't performing better than I am. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they, it was almost it was it was actually like, you know, it, I actually got amused and. Interestingly enough, I took two other athletes with me uh, in 2021. One is my partner, and she became ketogenic um, uh, a, a, a year, a little bit over a year prior to that. She um, she wrote a faster time than I did in my first event. Okay, she nice. wrote a faster time than I. Okay, we did have a tailwind, but <laughs> on the paper, she wrote a faster time. She didn't have any fuel. She rode 198 kilometers. Yeah, wow. And she won her category, and she beat some of the elite men. And the the they it was quite amusing because they all like, you know, she's a, she's she's a very attractive young lady, and and they all came to her. Can we help you? Can we help you? You know, like you know, you can. So, and eventually, she was like at 150 kilometers. She was passing those oaks. It was so like bravado, and yeah. you know, and those guys were just throwing, packing down the sugar water. And yeah. We took mm. a, we took a, we took a gentleman with us, um, a really nice guy, uh, an Italian bloke, and and uh, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it because he was smack. He was he was getting dropped. You know, I had to I had to push them both. You know, um, eventually at one stage, you know, I was a good, I'm a good teammate, um, but he could he, he just kept on saying it's unbelievable. He's never ever seen that before unbelievable because he experienced low blood sugar a few times during that 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 uh, that bout of exercise and he actually became ketogenic after that wow nice. he um, could he could not believe it no sean on the on these days when you're doing these really long rides are yeah. you just eating one big meal at night time or what, and, yeah, and what yeah. exactly so, are you eating so, so, so let me, let me, let me I, need, I need to get this across. I, I, I really do damage myself with what I do because it, it's not easy doing what I do. And with regards to my meals, um, of late, they've been a, a bit. So, one of the, I've just finished a, a kind of like a, an, ex, an experiment with some full fat cream, double cream yogurt, which stated it's got stabilizers in it but these stabilizers to my understanding are of um plant nature or plants they they're fillers or whatever and they have affected me like you cannot believe as believe as if i was eating food uh, um, uh, vegetables and, and fruits wind gas bloatedness bad bowel action and the reason why I bring this up is because I do a lot of experimentation. I will add that I will add foods, food types to my diet just to kind of figure out. I'm, I may have to get up and, and put the lights on because yeah. we're getting some overcast weather. Um, but I, I, my main meal before I, if I want to go and perform well, I will have a load of butter. Butter for me is. It's like high octane fuel. Eggs, um, depending on the my intention. If I'm going to ride for six hours, I'll have between six to seven eggs. Look, it's like not even six hundred calories, six eggs. Um, but I think the the eggs, the butter. I also have full cream. I also have some full actual cream. Um, not always, but uh, I, I find I find that's a, a lovely fuel source. But it's one hundred percent cream. Cream. It's not. There's no carbs in it. Truckload of salt. Yes, mm -hmm. um, like ridiculous amounts. So I I go through grinders. I think every two three days I'm I'm filling up a uh, like a like a big grinder like that. I, I'm I don't I don't measure. My, I just I just do that. In, and when I see like a, 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 a when I say again. In, in, do you put it into water and then drink it, or how you? I, I put it in my water bottles. 
I put it in my eggs. I put it everywhere. Um, I eat raw meat. Um, so I just, I just pour it all over the raw meat and I dab, the, I dab it in the raw meat and, uh, and, and, and yeah, I, I eat it like that. Um, and then, uh, I, I use a raw whey protein, a very, uh, uh I get uh, no sweetness, no, no, um, I use raw whey protein and, um, yeah, and that's, and that's, and that's it. And for me, for me, it's nutrients for me, it's, I don't eat for taste. I eat for, I know this is energy and, and I know this could nut it's nutrient dense and, and that's what I eat for. Um, I don't go out. I don't frequent restaurants. Um, uh, if I do, it's a steakhouse. Um, I know the steak, this, I, I go to one steakhouse because I know that they're going to give me good meat and, and I know there's no basting sauces with sh sugars. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's just steak. Um, so, that's that's what I eat. There's nothing complicated about what I do. It's it's the same sort of thing. A lion goes out there. He doesn't go well. What am I going to eat today? I feel like I'm going to have some buck. Or I feel, no, do you know rabbit will be good today? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, actually, we had rabbit last night. Let's have uh, you know they go out there and they get what they can get. Mm -hmm. Um and 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 I think I think oh I'm I'm terrible at a conversation because we've used food we've used food as entertainment. You know, we don't realize that food is food is not to be. It's not entertainment. Food is is merely there to sustain life. It's merely there to sustain life, and it's it's not something we're supposed to have every single day. It's 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 uh, we're not designed. Um, you know, our our digestive systems as well. It's like we complain about worn out elbows and wrists and knees. What about your digestive system? You know, that's not that's not designed to be attacked every single day, five small meals a day. You came up with that nonsense, you know? That's just nonsense. It really is. So um yes, so I think at the end of the day, I I I formulated my ideas, what works for me. Well, I've applied my ideas into into practice i should rather say and they work for me and um and that's because i'm a learner uh, i don't uh, and i i'm an absolute learner i don't really subscribe to the masses at all mm -hmm. um i have some very far 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 out theories and ideas um so um, yeah. But I mean, look, I mean, the results speak for themselves, you know, and, and people can say that's all they want. It's like, no, you can't do distance. I get so many people saying that you, you can't do what you do, uh, even the way you do it. You have to eat carbs. You have to do that. I mean, that's been proven false in a number of different studies. You know, I know you're affiliated with the, with the Noakes Foundation and, and Professor yeah. has shown this conclusively. And he was and he was the guy telling people for 30 years, no, 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 you have to have carbs. You have to have carbs. And I was going, oh gosh, guys, I was wrong. And you know, I've done it, you yeah. done it, and like, and and the science is there to support it. Well, um, so so that that that, that also, you know, what happened to Tim, to Noakes um, was absolutely and utterly disgusting how here is a here's a man that admits I'm wrong mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm wrong I admit he has he took accountability he he admitted it takes it takes a very rare individual to admit fault even Carl Sagan says that science must be approached with the, with the utmost skepticism and the most open mind to not discount anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's what happened to, and I watched that case. I watched what happened. I know some of the people that just turned their back on him. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in a generation where we were made to be made aware of what happens when authoritarian authoritarian bodies, dictatorships, 
people who want to control other people, I was I, I, I've been made aware. And so I'm of the person that can't be quiet. I, I refuse to be quiet. Mm -hmm. And also my life is, I've got nothing. So you can come and see me, you're going to get nothing. <laughs> really, I have got nothing. My bikes given to me, partnerships, I have zero. And my, I've made my life that way. I and it's not like I set out to be that way. I'm a, I'm a capitalist. I I I I I like there's some things which I like, um, but I'm I can't be quiet. What's happening to what's happening to people is is I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't be quiet. I'm not a I'm not a, a philanthropist. I'm not a humanitarian. I'm a I'm a I'm a moody person. Um, I, I, uh, but I can't be quiet. I will not be quiet. Mm. I just, you can't, because if you are quiet, yeah. 1939 to 1945 will just happen all over again. And if you think I'm wrong, go and look at history. Yeah. If you think I'm wrong, go and look at history. Human beings have the shortest memory in the entire universe. We cannot look further than our cell phones from uh, our mobile devices from to yesterday. We forget. We forget everything. But the problem is there are people who, with 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 malevolent, um, malevolent intentions, um, ill intentions towards other people, that want to control us and manipulate us. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. No. Yeah. Mm, no. Sean, you're a you're a deep thinker. Um, can I just read one of your Instagram captions? Because um, it's pretty, pretty. It's out there. It's a bit almost spiritual. Most often when I ride, especially when I go deeper into the state of ketosis, things seem to to be more vivid, lucid, and at the same time, I feel like I am transcending space and time. And for a moment, the asphalt that I travel over seems like an endless cosmic body. Yeah. And uh, that's, yeah. that's pretty out there. But at the same time, yeah. I think anyone who's done particularly ketosis and then hard yeah. training and exercise can relate to that. Yeah, I I think nothing comes from, a, you know, there's an old fashioned saying everybody uses, nothing comes from a state of, com uh, from a, from a state of comfort. You've got, to, you've got to go out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Um. The, some of the greatest minds of our, our of our time. I mean, Pythagoras wouldn't allow his students to come into his lectures without them being fasted. Um, and, Seriously? Um, yeah. So Dr. Fact. Chafee, that is up. Anthony, that's up yeah. your alley. Yeah. 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 Um, the, the, uh, the, the person who wrote the, uh, the, um, the Kabbalah, uh, the, the, the Jewish mysticism, uh, there were states that yeah, he lived off a berry, but he was primarily fasted when he wrote the the, the Kabbalah, which is which is one of the most sacred, mystical Jewish doctrine doctrines. Um, uh, all the great religions, all the great religions of our time, whether you whether you believe that they are just basically talking about um, extraterrestrials or not, um, they all. They may differ on politics and or, or religious politics and various things, but they all they all agree on one thing, and that's fasting. Mm -hmm. There is fasting in every major religion, uh, Western Islam, Judaism, and, and Christianity, and Christendom. Um, the the Knights Templar, uh, they 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 were they were almost ketogenic if. The, the history, some of the history records of the Knights Templar, they 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 implemented okay small amounts of meat. Um, they they weren't, they, but they they there were there were times when they restricted food, food intake, um, and and they and they drank they drank wine in in a way that it was almost medicinal. It was almost um, uh, uh, only red wine, but the the the, the 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 way it was mentioned, there was obviously some reason for it. Um, and that is 
it it I, I believe that we are we are this vessel and in order to trigger certain mechanisms we we use chemicals the uh, drugs work on us but we have this internal mechanism that creates our own chemical um clockwork that is triggered via via a lack of and that is the lack of food we we have this it's in, we have we have this incredible vessel um and only if 99% of the world could tap into that can you imagine how our society would be can you imagine the homeless people unfortunately we have homeless people specifically in south africa not wanting bread eliminating carbs they would become ketogenic they wouldn't be they wouldn't be hungry enough and desperate enough to cause crime to because they are so hungry they need to they, it, it 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 leads to 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 bad actions hunger and is the most debilitating uh, um a feeling a, a, a human can feel it, it's scary when somebody goes into the hypoglycemia it's terrible mm. it would it would change society if you had to change the way people function but we are programmed to be hungry we have nutritional bodies which tell us this is the what you should have it's carbohydrate mm. it's your right to have a lunch hour it's your right you must have lunch okay yeah. and you know um we, we all, all it is is just feeding it's feeding one industry to another industry that's what it is it's just a conveyor belt of giving to to one to another mm, and from friend to farmer it's yeah. 100% 100% i i my, i grew up in a pharmacy i at the age of 13 i got my last two rand pocket money a week and my father said to me this is your shift from 1 to 6 in, from from 1 in the afternoon to 6 in the evening you and i work at the chemist i mean i learned about medicine from a young age um i learned about upselling from a young age and 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 uh, and, and I worked in, a, in you know in 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 pharmacy. Mm -hmm. you know, do you know what's interesting? And and likewise for today, we go in, we buy we we buy a, a product, we just put it in our trolley or in our basket. We never pick it up and go, well, what's actually in here? Mm -hmm. Nobody does. Nobody does. Yeah. Well, when you talk to them, you start start pointing out that there's all these different ingredients on there, and they start looking at them. Then they they, they start getting their mind blown, because I always tell them, yeah. no, what about this, what about this. Well, we'll just look at the ingredients. You know, if it says more yeah. than salt, then don't get it. And and then you know, or people, uh, you know, will we'll get something like, oh, look, this is a carnival thing because it, you know, has, has some meat in it, and it'll just like look at the ingredients, and it's just a laundry list of of nonsense, and and you know unpronounceable chemical names and things yeah. like that. like well there's all these things you don't really want you know and the second ingredient is sugar and the next one's wheat and so you know maybe maybe you don't want those and and um and then you start pointing that out I'm like i had no idea they just put all this crap in there and it's like yeah basically anything you don't cook is going to have sugar in it they're going to put something in it and well, um, well yeah it's 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 100% what you're saying and when we came back from um Dubai, uh, not not Dubai when we came back from from Jordan we stopped off in in Qatar in Qatar uh, uh, and uh, we went to we were looking for just something to snack and the same old same old walk entire if it's Dubai or or Qatar or, or, or Doha it's um just walk and walk walk find trying to find a place which which resembles some sort of raw ingredient that you can eat and we came up we came past and you can see it keto restaurant it's keto restaurant and i was no ways i can't believe it and i looked at my at, at, at my girlfriend and i said let's 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 just go come on let's go. and we're looking and we're looking in the ingredients and we're looking and we're looking and we just, there was nothing <laughs> that they served which was keto. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 
joking. They were, and I called the manager over. I, I had to ask. So I said, but there's nothing here. It was bread. It was... Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. It wasn't uh, um, like gluten. -free, you know. I uh, know. I think there was was gluten free bread, but it was there was just, the other ingredients were just carbs. But it was there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. And that's the problem. We can literally package something, call it what we want, and it must be that. Mm -hmm. It must be that. I mean, I've seen keto bars that have got proper sugar, sucrose. Um, you, you know. Um. Yeah. Proper sucrose, and they and I asked, her, I said, but it's not keto. So I said, no, it is because it's got less than the fifty gram. You know, if you work it out, I said no, but it's just, it doesn't matter how much it, you you can have one one gram of sucrose is going to kick you out of keto. You know, it, yeah, it's yeah. the worst sugar ever. You know? Yeah. So uh, um, people just have no, they have no idea. No, sorry, I was just I was just going to say, I guess it's. Yeah. Next keto too because that's less than 50, 50 grams of uh, of carbs right so you yeah know, yeah it's like no yeah. it's insane it, 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 it's yeah. it's like you know if you go into the i said you know you get a green list an orange list and a red list you you can just see that the number one thing on the red list is sugar sucrose sugar how can you call yeah. it keto you know yeah it's it's it's, it's like it, it's it's unbelievable you know so yeah. you, you know, you get you to get different schools schools of thought. They say no, you must keep it below twenty five grams a day. Keep it below fifty grams a day of, of carbohydrate, of total carbs. But, but the one thing they all agree on is that the number one no, thing sure. is sugar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, well, I was gonna so, I was gonna say too. Um, you know, you were talking about all these guys refueling. Um, you know, eating all the the, you know, the sugar gels and all that sort of stuff, which is a very common thing. For people to do especially athletes and, and endurance athletes um and but you don't refuel at all and that's one thing that you know people ask me so what, what, what do you refuel with what do you refuel with and, and for me I, I wouldn't refuel with anything but have have you come across that have people spoken to you i mean i guess you know you eat you eat the butter and things like that if you were to mm -hmm. refuel, you would have suggest someone would just be just like just have a stick of butter and just you know chow on that mm. um so so um well, I've done. I, I do. I do like kind of. Um, you know what? What my body would want. Like my predisposition. What? What I'd naturally get drawn to. So, when when I have bonked many times, when I say bonked, it means I've gone through low energy and I and I feel like I need to eat. But what happens is I I, I calm down. I don't panic because the average person would think, "Holy shit! I need sugar." It's it's just a game over. So it's almost as if I, when it first started happening, I I had to put a um, I had to sort of take the leap of faith that saying, okay, Sean, calm down, calm down, soft pedal. And then ten minutes later, it's like, ooh, it's like it's like the engine starts to kick in, kick back in, and and it's almost it's almost as if people a lot a lot of discussion around car burners. Once you bonk, you bonk. It's game over. Um, but so many times I have, I'm going to say bonk and I just ride through it. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like I ride through it, but what do I eat? Um, I, I have, I have eaten probably on now out of 730 rides. I have eaten on 20 of those rides. I've worked, I've, okay. I've worked up the other lot at the beginning of this year. So I suffer from chronic fatigue from I actually said, okay, this is going to sound really crazy now. I, I, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia in 2017. Wow. Yeah. Shit. yeah. I got my first, I got my first bout of, of a training syndrome in 1998. Um, I used to do, to the extent, the intensity of exercise, I used to do 660 push ups and 880 sit ups in one hour. Oh, what? We worked it out. Like 660, yeah. 660 push ups and 880 sit ups in one hour. So, 660 nice. push ups is that? Uh, that's more that's than And that's a combination of wide and diamond. Is that like, is like 10 per minute? Yeah. Per 60 minutes. It, no, it's even, I think it's even more than that. Yeah. Um, and I used to get welts in my palms and I used to use my knuckles and then I used to get like um, calluses on my, on my coccyx area. Uh, I, I, I I was really strong in those days um, in 1998. And then one day, and, and I had a rule, I had a rule that 
there was 24 hours in the day and I had 24 hours in the day to do my set. I used to do the point of vomiting. Um, that's how hard I'd push myself. And then one day I came back from work and my bed wasn't even made with sheets. It was just a mattress and I bombed. And for two weeks I couldn't do anything. I was, and that was my first kind of overtraining kind of symptoms. I remember I, I, there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. Exhausted. And then in 2009, I got Epstein Barr virus with, uh, with infectious mm -hmm. mononucleosis and uh, and and uh, proper proper. I was I couldn't believe I actually was diagnosed with this, you know, like ME kind of vibe, and uh, I was really in a bad way. And then I I, I got over that and I, and I ended up winning our provincial time trial championships. Um, after coming back from that, um, and. Then when I started my business in 2014, I was awake. <laughs> uh, it's no way to lie. Uh, I was awake for 20 hours a day for Jeez. eight months. Right. And I used to train. And, uh, and and I was on social media. I used to sleep two hours in the afternoon, two hours in the, in the morning. Um, because my market, my main market was actually Australia. So I knew that I had to be awake for the Australian market. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then in t and then I got I got really ill in 2014. Uh, sorry, um, I got I got it bef before that. I was I, my father lost his business, and that was one of the reasons why. Also, he he the stress the stress also basically killed him. But we we he we couldn't afford to keep in, him in hospital. So my siblings, we 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 he he wanted to die at home. Well, he had no choice really, but. We nursed him for six weeks, and I worked during the day, and I had the eight-hour shift with him at night because he had a he had a drain coming out of his um out of his lung that permanently drained with this this terrible infectious like mucus gunk that came. So I had to carry him to the toilet when he needed to go to the toilet, and he had to be medicated all the time. And so I never slept. I, I never slept for six weeks. Really, I used to catnap, and uh, and that burnt me out. And then mm. um, I got another. And then with the business, I, I got burnt out. Then and then I lost my business in two thousand and seventeen, owing to a bad partner. And mm. uh, um, that's when I that just destroyed me um, as well. Anyway, so. Um, so, so what happens with my how I manage it? Well, the diet has been amazing. Uh, I really believe that wholeheartedly, and I do crash. I, I there there are days where like forty eight hours. I I had a really bad start to the year. It was probably at the worst I've ha I've had it because I I couldn't perform like I did last year. Last year I put so much into my physical. My I was so passionate about showing that. Right, you don't need carbohydrates to do anything, really. Okay, but this whole misnomer that you need carbohydrates to perform at, a, at great intensities, that's also nonsense. Mm -hmm. For this, the first six months of last year, and you can go into my Strava and the rides I've done, I am burning almost a 1,000 calories an hour mm -hmm. for six hours. Damn. Uh, and there are there it is you can and I put not just the Strava data I put the stages cycling data there and I and the more no one no one no one sees that I mean people they just sort of give you kudos but no one reads the captions really nobody looks at the data nobody mm -hmm. looks and, uh -huh. and and when I say zero refueling required so if I'm burning a thousand that's what the pros are burning at full gas stages a thousand to between 900 to 1,100 calories an hour. I'm a 50-year-old male who is, I'm not, I'm not even taking in food. Forget it. I'm not taking food. Sean, on the, on the age thing, perhaps a final yeah. question. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you, you're 50 years old now. How's your, how's your performance tracking relative to your younger years? Well, it's an unfair um thing to sort of comment on because I've never ever done endurance until the last real five years of my life. 
Okay. Um, so I've always been a, like I say, I've always been a, 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 a fast twitch muscle fiber person. Um, and the, the, I think the only, I honestly believe that carbohydrates stifled me and my progress in, in life. It really did. It prevented me from performing at the highest level. It prevented me from performing at the highest level. I recall when I used to ride when I was 16, 16 years old, um, I would be 20, I would bonk 20 Ks from home and I could smell the macaroni and cheese that we we're going to eat that night. I could smell it. I remember in those days, there was no cell phones, and no um, foods that we could like quickly, quickly eat. You know, that's, that's a long time ago. I remember lying in the long grass outside of Cape Town because I was scared that, you know, it was like an unsafe area. I was hiding away. And I remember pulling out the long grass and sucking the, 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 the roots. I was so desperate. Wow. I was so desperate. Hmm. I would never consider, like I said before, I'd never consider riding longer than 40 kilometers. I, I had a, I had a, I've got, a, I had a loop. The loop from from my house to the top top where I used to it was forty three kilometers, okay, but going full you know going longer than that was like just just like unheard not of. On. I just called it four yeah not on, and the the reason for that being is I honestly believe is because food creates an energy. The energy will give you ultimate purpose. Mm. If you're if you're giving your food, sorry, if you're giving your body bad energy, your body's not going to really want to do things. How does, how does, how does an individual go from, she's going 45, 40, 45 kilometers. Yeah, that's like my limit. And I'm happy with that. Where I'm now at a point where I go, go out and I'm not content if I haven't got 110 Ks on my, on my, on my, uh, on my device. I only warm up after three hours. <laughs> That's bad. How, yeah. how, how does yeah, it? How, how? Yeah. yeah. People go ride up. I'm riding the same same road. There's, I mean, we've got some beautiful scenery in Cape Town. I'm riding the same road over and over and over again. And there's many reasons why I do that. But how? I should be getting old. I should be getting slower. I shouldn't be, a, be uh, you know. It is the energy that, because I really believe my, I'm giving my body what I believe to be what it's supposed to be given. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, people will say, "Well, it's not, but it's not, and it's not isolated to me." I've got a a, a, a German Swiss girl who. There's no relation. There's no we've we uh, we we've never ever met before. She became kid, so it works for her. You know, um, yeah. I what I've... about what about the what about the bushman? The bushman who go and hunt for eight hours. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it, there's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> what <laughs> we speak about macronutrients in the Tour de France. They used to eat steak and meat. They used to package meat. And eat that. Mm. But we forget about that. Mm. Why? Because somebody figured, well, let's give these guys sugar. Do you know, I'll tell you what, cycling, cycling is the, the, some of the most, it's the, the most addic addictive quality. Uh, cyclists have some of the most, um, they abuse recreational narcotics. You mm. just have to go and read the book by Paul Kimmich called The Rough Rider. And they aren't caught this inhaling of gels is not about feeding your energy it's about feeding your addiction it's about feeding your addiction it's how how you know you then you've got people telling you that the, there's there's a thousand papers telling you that you perform better on carbohydrates so you need carbs for a coffee ride do you yeah yeah you know and is that what i'm trying to say Mm -hmm. So you need that croissant for a, a coffee ride. Yeah, going out with your mates, laughing, joking whilst you ride. 
stopping having a croissant and running back. D tell me, have these guys figured it out that your body can only store so much glycogen? Hmm. That it's in your muscle. Oh, once it's saturated, once your muscle walls are sat saturated, once your liver is saturated, that's, stop eating it. <laughs> no, just keep on eating it. They're not feeding their energy, they're feeding their addiction. Mm. And it, it, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Well, you know, I can prove it. I can prove it a million times. I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, just with, just with your, I mean, like 730 rides now, and you've only yeah. done 20 of them with eating. And when you were eating, you're eating like you know butter and meat. So you certainly don't need carb. And that's you know that is something that we are taught in biochemistry in our undergraduate degree, not everyone takes biochemistry, but um, uh, a lot of people did. And, and doctors in America are supposed to, it's part of the prerequisites for medical school. And and yet they are some of the, the leading people saying, no, 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 you have to have carbs. It doesn't work like that. Well, think back to your undergraduate degree in biochemistry and, and your biochemistry. When you stop eating carbohydrates for 24 hours, you start making carbohydrates. You start making liver glycogen, muscle glycogen, ketones, and you keep doing that, doing that until you run out of fat. And uh, and then when you run out of fat, you die, or you actually run on your, your muscles and you start breaking that down. Once you run out of all tissue, you die. But it takes a, it takes a long, long time to to run out of your fat cell, fat stores. And, you know, like you're saying, putting out, you know, around a thousand uh, kilocalories per hour is you know professional cyclist league okay so not many people are doing that and so even even high level endurance athletes like that you know maybe around where you're you're looking you can maximize who doesn't have six thousand calories available of fat in their body i mean i mean there are probably some people that are on the verge of death that are so emaciated and, and starving yeah. you know? that's it you know so I don't, I don't care what sort of endurance race you're doing, like you have enough and it doesn't matter how skinny you are, unless you're like actually truly emaciated, anyone who's healthy and has a, has a healthy level of, of low lean body fat, you will, you will have enough energy for a week without eating. And I mean, it's nice to have numbers on that because yeah. if you're putting out a thousand an hour and you're going for six hours or 12 hours, well, you know, 12,000 calories, like, I definitely have more, more than that. I, I definitely have more than that. Me too. You know, most well, people do. Well, well, well one, I also believe that my muscles is a source of energy. Uh, mm -hmm. I also believe, um, and and uh, the, one, the one thing that, that I know that does affect me is my fatigue levels. When I am fatigued, I, 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 I feel that my body doesn't want to produce the energy. Or what it does is it stops my body from producing the energy. So it's it's almost like a parasympathetic nervous response. So regardless of what fuel you have, it's you, you it switches off the mechanism that says no, you've done you've done too much. So I, I've ha I've had to learn to kind of cool it down, um, because I, I call it when I'm metabolically fit, my maximum my maximum burn rate is six is absolutely six thousand. Although I've done six. 1700 um at, at which was like incredible and i do believe i can go a, a further distance i've just got to taper taper it off but i really and i really hurt myself when i got out there um i i, I remember uh, i did three big rides two two weeks or two and a half weeks ago and my eyes were bl like blood red from the one, the, the one ride. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why that happened, but I mean, I, I literally felt like I was, I was, I was pushing myself so hard, well, uh, because of the the cumulative training that I'd, I'd done. It was you know the last ride. I, I just it, because I, I I just I'm so passionate about getting that information across. You know, for just one person, just one person, if they. They can say, no way, this is, I've got to try this. I've, I've got to try this. If one person just, for me, then I, then I, it's, it's, it's you know, one person. Yeah. Mm. 
Sean, where can people find you? Where can people learn more about your stuff? Um, I have a website, um, seansacco.com. Um, I'm, I'm on Instagram. I'm on, I'm on Twitter. Um, be, be wary. My Twitter is, um, is not like my Instagram. Um, <laughs> it's, I, I have, uh, I have some You're pretty I'm out there. passionate. Like yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very yeah. passionate. I'm very passionate about politics. Really? I, I can't imagine um, it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, just a, a warning. I, I, I'm a, I'm a, a modified conservative, if you can call it that. Um, uh, and there uh, are, um, I also believe wholeheartedly that in a in a universe where they in the known universe where they believe this, they understand that there's over seven hundred quintillion planets that we are probably the zoo of the universe. You know, we the and the uh, you know, I, I I'm a big believer I, in. Uh, I think you're the you're the prime line at the moment. They're they're watching no. this madman. <laughs> Ride six thousand <laughs> calories worth without eating. Yeah. Uh, look, I mean, I don't do it all the time, man. Eh? Just uh, yeah, uh, I am a human being, and I do yeah. suffer. And sometimes, I, my, my, I've, I've also, I've also got a scoliosis. That I mean, that I, I sometimes it takes me, and my back just goes seizes, mm -hmm. and I, and I, 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 I can't get up, and it takes me like two hours to get up. Now, I've, I mean, I this really do horrible. damage myself. Yeah. But I, I'm, I, 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 it's not enjoyable in, in it, but I, I, I kind of live, to, you know, I, I, no excuses. It's kind of, I, and I, it's not, I do complain. I mean, I, 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 I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not this, this bastion of, oh, I just like, I want to be like, I'm, I'm a human being. I, I hurt. I have issues. I have my own fears, anxieties. Um, I'm I'm just a, I'm just a human being. I'm not. I I just I, I just want to find out for myself, and I want people to ask questions. Well, it's a it's a cool mission, um, and I think you're going to inspire, or you are inspiring a lot of endurance athletes and people yeah. in general. Um, so, thank Sean, you. thank you so much for joining Anthony and I today. Uh, it was a really great chat, and we really appreciate your time and and everything. No, else. like. I, I really appreciate you guys reaching out to me and, and giving me the opportunity and yeah. And if one person can, yeah, one person. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, man. I think, I think this, this, this is a very important, uh, you know, piece of evidence for people because a lot of people are hesitant to try a keto or carnivore because they're like, well, mm -hmm. I'm not, what about endurance athletes? How do I refeed what I do all about these things? And I, you know, I tell them from my experience and I tell them from the different studies that I know about. Uh, but it's great to see someone like yourself who's, who's really doing yeah. something actively, you know, just putting out just tons and tons of effort and not and, yeah. and on, on, on just the fuel that you have already available in your body, which on paper in the biochemistry textbooks is what is supposed to happen. But, you know, it really matters what happens in the real world as well. So it's great to see uh, you as an example for that for others. Yeah. Well, thank you very, thank you very, very much. I, I really, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.